to the weekly tea. Look, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and I'm cool with that. So, thanks for uh, clicking on the video and watching, guys. Like I said, I have some very exciting news. I got licensed to sell real estate in South Carolina. Just passed the state portion today. Something I've been working on for back in March. It took a really long time to get process paperwork with the commission and me being licensed in another state, I didn't have to take part of the test, I only had to take half of it. And I also, also, I had to take it here in South Carolina. So I wasn't gonna just take a special trip down here to take the test. I was gonna take the test while I had a bunch of other appointments set up, which was this week that I'm down here. Yeah, so I'm a licensed um, real estate agent in South Carolina. I'm gonna be servicing the Grand Strand area. Uh, the Grand Strand area is, uh, North Myrtle Beach, all the way uh, to the southern part, which is Georgetown. If you haven't already watched it, I'm putting this piece out after I've made an announcement piece. Go to my Instagram here. Uh, it'll be on Facebook, TikTok. I'm not gonna put it separately on YouTube, but go to my socials, go check out that video. It's a cool two to three minute piece where it talks about kind of why, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit further in this video and just tell you guys why and I guess what my main goal is, so you can kind of understand. I've, get, I've gotten a ton of people, oh, well, how are you gonna do that? Or why are you gonna do that? And stay away from those guys. I call them sure guys or why guys. They, it's from a, it's from a perspective like, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into it. Don't pay attention to those people, but I'm making a video to talk about it to give some of those people some more insight. Not that I really you know, care about that insight, if I'm being honest, but yeah, this is what I'm doing. So we got licensed down here. Um, I'm gonna grow my business down here. I've always wanted a place down here. My family's been traveling here for decades, ever since I was a little boy. So naturally every summer when I come down here, I just love it. I've been to a ton of places across the country and the Southern portion of the Grand Strand, particular, particularly the Merle's Inlet area and the Pauly's Island area. I just, I just love the pace of it. I love everything the city has to offer. Uh, the gyms here, the beaches here, things to do, the affordability of it. My entire life I envisioned having a place here, you know, going back and forth and who knows if I ever retire, you know, um, call it home, but you know, who knows at that point. So yeah, I got licensed. Um, I wanted to wait to get licensed until I had a place down here. I started looking, actively looking about 18 months ago, like being in a position and able to like pull the trigger on something. I've been paying attention to the market here for about two to three years, like pretty heavily, like I am up in um, Indiana. Yeah, so I finally locked down a place. I actually, I actually had a place in March and it was in this complex uh, to this Airbnb that we're staying at. Um, long story short, deal fell apart, it was a kind of appraisal. I didn't want to guarantee the gap. I was staying pretty disciplined in that transaction and I got a better opportunity. So as you have known, if you watched that video or if you haven't seen the information yet, I'm building a custom home in Pauly's Island and it's just it's just better. It's, it's in the area I want to be. It's something I never thought I was ever going to be in a position to be able to do. And I am and I was and I'm, I'm really ecstatic about it. So that's another reason why we're down here is I'm kind of wrapping up all the loose ends that I couldn't do from up in Indiana down here. Had to do the electrical walkthrough, you know, meet with with some 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 some, suppl some suppliers, some vendors, just just get everything in a row. That way, Chris, the builder, can you know finish the house for me. But once the house gets done, which will be at the very beginning of uh, 2022, I'll be down here pretty freq frequently. So after my wedding this this uh, fall. I'm going to you know, close on that new house. I'm gonna spend some time down here in the winter and furnish it, get it, um, get it squared away, just, and just enjoy it. You know, I've really, I've earned some free time to be able to just come down here and try to relax and get that in order. And my goal is to come down once a month for a weekend. And I thought since I have a place down here, I'm gonna be down here, why not grow my business? I believe I'm changing the way people are buying and selling real estate. And I want to bring that energy down here. I don't think anybody around here is doing what I'm doing up north. And since I'm going to be here, I felt like it was only right to 
just push myself, challenge myself, grow, and see if I can, you know, if, if that can, if I can find success in this market like I have up in Indiana. So we're here, man. We're uh, we're calling it home base. Couldn't be more excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to show you guys my house. I, I've spent so much time designing it and handpicking all these selections. I think it's gonna be something even unique down here that I think is gonna be a showstopper. So we're gonna do like a house tour when it's all done so you guys can see that. But yeah, that's what this video was about. It was just to tell you, talk about it a little bit further, how and why. We're gonna see where it goes. I'm gonna stick and stay with the Century 21 franchise for the time being. I'm not sure which franchise I'm gonna hang my license with yet. I've interviewed the top two firms and they went really well. I do have one that I'm favoring or that I like more but I um, haven't made that decision yet. I've been asked by a ton of people how I'm gonna grow my business down here or how I can keep up with everything. Um, I've put people in place and uh, I've got a really awesome team around me up north to handle things when I'm gone. A lot of the stuff I can do remote, a lot. I don't wanna say majority because there is a lot of stuff that I have to be in person for and on site for, but I'm gonna have to pick and choose my battles. I'm not really worried about it because I, I know I'm gonna be good enough to pick you know, which battles I need to pick. And I've got people around me to support me and help me get things done. I wanna push down here. I wanna push more as a selling agent. I don't wanna be a buyer's agent, so to speak. I'm more passionate about you know, selling the real estate than um, running buyers around and you know, helping, them, helping them buy. That might change if I'm down here more. And I'm talking about down here in South Carolina. I love showing people homes up north. It's just, it's gonna be a challenge, right? If I'm up there and I've got a buyer and they wanna look at you know, 10 different things over a course of a few days, I just, that's not feasible for me at the moment. So to grow my business down here, I'm gonna try to advertise and solely focus on just, uh, just selling real estate down here. I really wanna get involved in some of those high rise condos and um, get involved in some projects down here. And I'm not really nervous either. I'm not nervous to see where it goes. I, I initially was because I feel like it's gonna go really, really well. And if I can't keep up, it could get really, really bad. But the only way to grow, you know, you gotta, you gotta put stress on yourself, you gotta put stress on your body, and that's how you adapt and grow and get stronger. So I'm hungry, young, I'm ready for it. I, I want all of it. Oh my God, I've had the old bull, now I want the young calf. And she grabs me by the- So yeah, that's kind of uh, what I'm up to, it's what we're doing. That's a great question. Will SMG come to South Carolina? Maybe. It's funny you say that because my brother, when I called him this morning and shared the news that I passed my course, actually he called me to congratulate me. Um, he was like, should I get my GC in South Carolina? Because Chase holds our general contractor's license up in Indiana. So yeah, I think, I think SMG will come down to South Carolina in the near future. I think I need to get myself established more before that occurs, but we're definitely in a position to be able to make that happen. Um, especially now with me having a place down here, but I'm just going to take the same. I'm going to take the same model and the same approach I did up in Indiana, and I'm going to bring it down here in South Carolina. And um, I need to come down here and make a splash and and um, make some waves and and then bring the team, you know, down here. So, so yeah, great question. SMG will definitely be down here in some fashion. As far as the development side of things, you know, I don't know. Um, the Soils are different down here. Building codes are different down here. But Chase is a lot like me, man. So he, he may want to learn all of that. And um, we may want to go through that together and, um, and do it. But we're the, also the type of people we don't feel comfortable doing it for other people if we haven't done it for ourselves. Luckily, I'm down here. I am building a house for myself. So, you know, we've got a little bit of experience. But yeah, I think, uh, I think SMG will come down here in the near future. Um, so lastly, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you. If you've made it this far, do me a favor. If you liked the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.